Hey everybody, I have a new addition today um, to my shrimp tanks. And um, I, not all these snails are going to stay in this tank. Um, I added three rabbit snails. This is one of them, and it's just now coming out of its shell. Um, its shell looks rough on the end down here. Down here. But I have uh, crushed coral in my tank. I have cuddle bone in my tank. Is this something that I should report to the person that I bought them from? Because the end of his shell looks rough. But anyway, there's that one. I'm gonna move you over just a little bit. There's one back there in that flower pot and there's a couple of little shrimps and that one right there on the left is buried. She'll be fluffing here in a minute. And there is another rabbit snail in here and I dropped him right in here somewhere but he has crawled on looking around i guess um this is one of the new i got three rabbit snails and three mystery snails this is one of the new ones i wanted three in this tank and three in the other tank so maybe i'd have some babies but this one right now where'd he go he's hung in the grass again but he keeps floating so i don't know i'm watching him okay i'm gonna move you over this is going to be my new shrimp tank I have um, some yellow shrimp that I got from Priscilla and Swiss Aquatics in a 3.5 gallon and I don't like that tank at all for my shrimp. You can't see them. The lights are not good at all. So I went to buy a 5 gallon. They didn't have any at Walmart and so I bought the 10 gallon and thought they would be more comfy in a 10 gallon because I'm going to get, I just got one shrimp pack from her of the yellow ones to start with. And um, I'm getting another shrimp pack from her when she gets some more yellow ones in. Um, I think she said Monday she would get them in, but she quarantines hers for two weeks. So it'll be at least two weeks before I can add those yellows to this tank. This tank is just, um, I've got some rocks that are coming that I'm gonna put in here. I got some more plants. Um, I got this plant, this plant, and this plant and that little one back there from uh, Redfish Bluefish. Thanks, Jason, so much. And I was letting them float, but I got your message today and I kind of put them down in the substrate. Didn't know about putting a root tab under these, if I should or should not. Didn't know about this one or these, so you can let me know about that if you see this video. This moss and this moss and this moss down here was from De Detroit Shrimp and Aquatics. Thanks, Brian. And these are my, there's three of them there, but you can only see these two. They're pretty big. And then there's another little one right back here by the plant. And these have really, really pretty shells. I don't know what color this is called. Uh oh, there comes one out. See that big one? There he comes, or she. So, just wanted to show y'all my new stuff and the new tank. Yes, it, the bug has bitten me big time. And I gotta stop. <laughs> I gotta stop. But anyway, um, I'm really enjoying this. It's so relaxing. It's so much fun. And um, thanks Fish Fam for really getting me involved, encouraging me, and um, for always answering my stupid questions because I know I ask y'all a million questions and I bug the crap out of y'all. So, especially Bob Taylor and Fisher and Fever and Priscilla. Oh my Lord, I worry Priscilla to death. So, thanks y'all. This is just a little video and I will update you later um, as I add to the tank. Thanks.